Welcome back to Top 5 Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to show you guys a simple way to test for blow-by. First, locate the PCV valve. The PCV valve is usually located on the valve cover or on the intake manifold. Next, take a vice grip and pinch the PCV valve hose. Make sure to protect the hose by placing a sharp rag on it. Next, remove the engine oil cap and take the engine oil cap and place it on top of the filler hole. If the cap blows right off, then you know there's excess blow by and this is caused by worn piston rings and worn cylinder wall. If you see exhaust fumes and vapor escaping from the filler hole, then you know you have too much blow by. Also, make sure to remove the dipstick. And again, if you see too much exhaust fume and vapor, this is again caused by bad piston rings and worn cylinder wall. When you're done with the test, make sure to check the PCV valve hose. Make sure you did not accidentally damage it or cracked it. If there is too much crankcase pressure caused by excess blow-by, this can cause an oil leak. For example, all that pressure needs to go somewhere. The first thing it's going to go is, it's going to try to come out of the uh, oil pan gasket area. As pressure starts to build up, it's going to try to force its way out of the oil pan gasket area and this can cause the oil pan to start leaking engine oil. And in worst case scenario, it can cause the rear main seal to start leaking and this will cause lots of engine oil to leak out of the engine. Exactly, what is blow-by? Well, blow-by is combustion gas that happened to find its way passing through the piston ring, going down the cylinder wall and into the crankcase. To relieve crankcase pressure, there's a part called the PCV valve. And basically what the PCV valve does is it relieves crankcase pressure. It helps to bring the exhaust gas in the crankcase to be routed back into the combustion chamber where it will be burned again. If your PCV valve is stuck closed, it cannot relieve crankcase pressure and all that crankcase pressure is going to build up and again, that pressure needs to go somewhere and again, it's going to cause an oil leak. It's going to cause the oil pan and the rear main seal to fail. So make sure that your PCV valve is functioning properly. And one way to check that it is functioning properly is to shake it. If you shake it and you hear that rattling noise, then you know the valve is working. If you don't hear that rattling noise, then you know the valve is most likely stuck and it is sticking. And if the PCV valve is stuck in the stuck closed position, you can try using carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner and clean inside the valve. This may help the valve to unstick and the PCV may work again. I hope you found this lesson useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Repairs.